This is Pastor Mark in Park. Last week I shared some thoughts on calling. I shared that all Christians are called to ministry by virtue of their baptism. That one calling is then lived out in some other callings. The calling might be task oriented. God may be calling us to do something, such as check in on a neighbor or volunteer our time at the local school or a, another organization. The calling may be vocational. God may be calling to some full-time work, such as a pastor or a missionary or teacher. Now there's a measure of anxiety whenever we hear and respond to God's call. Why? Because God's call leads us into the unknown. All the anxiety level may be pretty small. How hard can it be to walk across the street and check in on a neighbor? But the anxiety level could be very high. You, God, want me to be the pastor of a local church? No matter the level, there are four words that we need to remember whenever we answer God's call. God is with you. Similar words were spoken to people in the Bible when God called them. Take Moses, for example. God called Moses to deliver the ancient Hebrews from slavery in Egypt. God called Joshua to lead those same Hebrews into the Promised Land. God called the Apostle Paul to preach the gospel to the Gentiles. All three heard similar words. God is with you. Whatever God has called you to do, God is with you. You can fulfill God's call. By extension, the message that God is with us is something that we can take with us through all of life. God is with you through the ups and downs of life. A relationship going south? God is with you. Things are rough at home or school or work? God is with you. Health declining? God is with you. No matter what God has called you to do or what's going on in life, God is with you. Remember that. This has been Pastor Mark in Park, reminding you to keep on loving as Jesus taught.